Leahy here with the most funniest and happiest layout I have done for a while. Uh, I was inspired by the cool cuts we have in Create a Smile store. They are dice and I use magic frames set to uh, create this layout. I have a picture from my daughter. And I thought that little magic hat would be so cute on top of her head. And I asked her permission to <laughs> use that. And she said yes, it was fun and she laughed. So I'm very proud mom. She has the same humor that her, her mom has. Uh, so I'm starting with white cardstock and stars stencil. I'm mixing... Mm -hmm. Straw strawberry, air yeah, strawberry. Anyway, this uh, pink paint from Berlin Arts, and uh, using makeup sponge to um, spread the color through the stencil. I know I used the same stencil last time, but now I'm using a bit differently. And this uh, stars stencil really fits to this magic theme I'm doing now. I'm using the same paint to chipboard stars we have. I'm painting them on top of my cardboard. Uh, they could be used as a stencil too. Um, I don't mind if I got this messy paint spot on my uh, paper because I will have some, some patterned papers on top of it with now later. I chose a lot of um, pink and grey and uh, white and black papers um, on my work table to, uh, if I want to use them. I cut this um, pink and white dot paper a little uh, larger than my picture is, so I can use that to um, creating <laughs> this paper cluster. Uh, I'm just adding some larger paper pieces now and making this kind of um, paper cluster base so I can attach this one to my background and then add more layers between the layers. Okay, this is kind of funny when I'm editing this video and um, speaking, <laughs> doing my voiceover. I'm I'm so anxious to go to my studio and do some more because creativity creates creativity, <laughs> you know. And this uh, this looks inspiring, <laughs> even for me. Once I'm happy with this uh, paper cluster base. I'm attaching it to the background and then I'm going to uh, add even more layers like this uh, vellum and small slices and stuff like that. Uh, but before attaching, uh, I'm going to do some stamping and some doodling and some sewing thread and things like that. So uh, here I am still doing doing more layers and more layers. As I have a lot of stars on the background, I thought it would be nice to repeat the stars with the paper layers, but I don't have any stars patterned paper uh, to, with these colors. So I use this star punch to make a um, negative star shape and I'm putting it between the paper layers. It will look nice. As you see here, I'm using stapler many, many times with only one paper cluster. Uh, it's very, um, I really prefer using stapler because it leaves room to add more layers between layers if needed. Um, I'm, I used make a wish stamp set on the background uh, my camera wasn't on then, so I'm really sorry you didn't see my stamping, but I used black ink and a, a big star shape from Make-A-Wish uh, stamp set. Uh, I'm using 3D foam to attach my picture and some sewing thread between, and then I'm um, attaching the uh, picture. 
My title is stamped on one of the cool cuts, one of the big banners we had in our, um, I don't remember the name, but one in our cool cuts uh, die sets. I um, used also this Make-A-Wish uh, stamp set to make this title and I really really love how this uh, layout turned out. Uh, these cute little glasses reminds me of a Harry Potter <laughs> or something, even though my daughter doesn't uh, watch Harry Potter, but um, this look magical, the whole layout. Now, thank you for watching and I hope you are inspired. Um, we'll see you soon and remember to create a smile. Bye!